This is part 132 of SQL Server tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to find object dependencies using these two dynamic management functions, DM SQL referencing entities and DM SQL referenced entities. We'll also discuss the difference between referencing entity and referenced entity and the difference between schema bound dependency and non schema bound dependency. This is continuation to part 131, so please watch part 131 before proceeding. Notice the query right here. Within this query, we are using DM SQL referencing entities dynamic management function. This function in this example is going to return us all the objects that depend on employees table. I have this exact same query already typed here. So when we execute this, we should get all the objects that depend on employees table. At the moment, we have got a function and two stored procedures that depend on employees table. Now let's understand the difference between referencing entity and referenced entity. A dependency is created between two objects within SQL Server when one object appears by name inside a SQL statement stored in another object. The object which is appearing inside the SQL expression is known as referenced entity and the object that contains that SQL expression is known as a referencing entity. We have an example here which tells which is a referencing entity and which is a referenced entity. So here we have a very simple view, view employees and all this view does is select all the rows and columns from employees table. So here this employees table appears within the SQL expression. So this employees table is the referenced entity and this is the view that contains the SQL expression. So this view is the referencing entity. To get all the referencing entities, we use this dynamic management function, DM SQL referencing entities. And to get the referenced entities, we use this dynamic management function, DM SQL referenced entities. Now let's look at an example of getting all the referenced entities of a stored procedure. So we have the stored procedure right here, SP get employees and departments. And we are using this dynamic management function, DM SQL referenced entities. So this in this example is going to return us all the referenced entities of this stored procedure. I have this exact same query already typed here. So when we execute this, we should get all the referenced entities of this stored procedure. That is the entities on which this stored procedure depends. We know that this stored procedure depends on these two tables, employees and departments. Notice not only the table name, we also get the column names within those respective tables on which this stored procedure depends. All right. Now, one important thing to keep in mind is that for both of these dynamic management functions, to work, we need to specify the two part name, that is the schema name and the actual entity name. If we omit the schema name, in this case, the schema name is DBO, and when we execute this query, look at what's going to happen, we don't get any result. So we will have to specify the two part name, the schema name and the actual entity name. Now let's understand the difference between schema bound dependency and non schema bound dependency. Let's actually understand this with an example. There is another way of finding dependencies in SQL Server. We discussed this in our previous video session and that's by using SQL Server Management Studio graphical user interface. So I want to find all the dependencies of the employees object. Right click on that and select view dependencies from the context menu. And here we can see all the objects that depend on employees table. And if you look at the dependency type between the employees table and this function, the dependency type, notice here, it says non schema bound dependency. Now, if I select this radio button right here, objects on which employees depends. So this employees table depends on departments. And look at the dependency type right here. It is schema bound dependency. So what's the difference between schema bound and non schema bound? Well, schema bound dependency prevents referenced objects from being dropped or modified as long as the referencing object exists. Let's understand what this means. So we know that between these two tables, departments and employees, there is a schema bound dependency. So the referencing object here is the employees table. So this is referencing departments. Now, what is going to happen if I try to delete departments? Since we have the referencing entity still present, it is still existing. If I try to drop 
the referenced entity in this case departments because of the schema bound relationship between them SQL Server is going to prevent that deletion from happening so if you really want to delete the departments table you will have to first delete the referencing entity that is the employees table and then the referenced entity that is the departments table whereas the non schema bound dependency is not going to prevent such a deletion okay a non schema bound dependency does not prevent the referenced object from being dropped or modified so let's understand this with an example so now here we are creating a very simple view view employees and all this view is doing is selecting these columns from employees table okay by looking at the definition of this view we can say this view is dependent on this table okay so let's create this view first and let's refresh this folder so we have our view there so I'm going to right click on that and select view dependencies and I'm going to select this radio button objects on which view employees depends we know that view is dependent on employees table and if you look at that dependency type between those two objects look at the dependency type it is non schema bound dependency okay so this view depends on employees table and the dependency is non schema bound dependency since this is a non schema bound dependency if I try to delete the employees table SQL Server is not going to prevent that deletion from happening look at that I am able to delete that employees table while this view this object is still referencing that deleted object okay and that is because of the non schema bound relationship between them now let's go ahead and delete this view first and let's create this table back and now I'm going to cre create this view once again but this time I'm going to use this option with schema binding okay let's create this view let's refresh the tables folder we should have our employees table and let's refresh the views folder we should have a view as well I'm going to right click on that select view dependencies and I'm going to select this radio button objects on which view depends and look at this when I select you know employees table so the relationship or the dependency type between view and employees table is schema bound dependency so that means now if we try to delete this employees table look at what's going to happen we get an error and if you look at the what the error says it says cannot drop table dbo.employees because it's being referenced by object view employees so that's the fundamental difference between schema bound dependency and non schema bound dependency thank you for listening and have a great day